This is the first time I have my own pet. So I'm going to make sure my aquarium will have everything it needs to be her home. Let's look at the checklist for what my new fish friend would need. Hmm. Starting in the morning, the fish would need breakfast. So I've got fish food. Then she will want to play. So I'll need a water wheel and bridge for playtime. And then night. Hmm. A tiny soft bed to sleep? Hmm. I've never seen a bed in an aquarium. Do fish need one? Wait a minute. Do fish sleep? Before talking about my fish friends, let me ask you a question. Why do you think we sleep? Humans and most other animals sleep to rest and refresh, allowing the body to prepare for the next day. And although we do this every night and have been doing it for many years now, scientists have different theories about why we sleep. One of the most popular arguments is that we are less active while sleeping and that way we get to save some energy and slow down for a bit. The body also gets to do some general upkeep, like repairing damaged cells and synthesizing proteins. Another theory says that sleeping helps to process all the information acquired during the day and dump whatever is not necessary, helping us think clearly and memorize better. So, even though there is no one answer on why we sleep, we all have experienced what it is like when we don't sleep. We become inactive and feel tired and it becomes really difficult for us to focus and remember things and even process information. And in the worst case scenario, we may even get sick. So it is as though we function well for two thirds of our lives only because we sleep for one third. Not just us though, a lot of animals sleep too. But you haven't seen a fish do any of these, have you? I don't know about you, but the first thing I notice about fish when I see them is that they don't shut their eyes or even blink. This is because they don't have eyelids, which we humans use to protect and moisten our eyes. Fish would definitely not need moisture underwater but what they do need, like us, is to rest, refresh themselves, and heal injuries. Whoa. So, even though they can't close their eyes and it would appear that they are always awake, they do sleep, just in a very different way. You might be wondering, if they don't shut their eyes, how do we know that they are sleeping? Well, there are many indicators which may differ from one fish type to another. Some fish, like the goldfish, sink down and rest at the bottom of the waterbed at night or on a plant, moving very little. Their color also dims while they're resting. Likewise, most fish show less activity when they rest. A sleeping fish will stop swimming or swim very little and not eat food. Some species, like tuna, some sharks have to swim all the time so that they can breathe. They continue to float along and occasionally move a fin to keep oxygen flowing into their gills. These subtle movements are also meant to help them stay balanced. Dolphins, for example, sleep with half their brain at a time. The active part of their brain keeps them swimming and breathing while the other half rests. And then, they reverse it, so both parts of the brain gets rest. Did you know, scientists found that even zebra fish can suffer from sleep deprivation. Lack of sleep actually affects their memory and learning capabilities, proving that sleep is indeed important to them as it is for us. Have you ever slept through an alarm or not heard someone as they tried their best to wake you up? Well, when fish sleep, they too become slow to respond to things going on around them. But they live in the vast blue waters with many dangers. So 
they still have to stay somewhat alert in case a predator attacks them. Hmm. Maybe when we were hunter-gatherers and lived in the jungles, we slept that way too. Ah, maybe that's where we got the saying, sleeping with one eye open from. <laughs> what a perfect metaphor for being cautious, huh? Coming back to fish. Parrotfish have a unique mechanism to keep parasites away. They hide in a coral reef, wrap themselves in a thick layer of mucus, just like a sleeping bag, and snooze until morning. Now, for the most interesting part, do they sleep at night, like us? Or are the underwater rules different? Our body works in such a way that we tend to sleep during the night when it gets dark and remain awake during the day when there is natural light. While most fish follow the cycle, there are some kinds of fish that are nocturnal, like squirrel fish and soldier fish. They sleep and stay hidden during the day and stay active during the night. Some fish can also easily adjust their sleeping patterns to water temperature, food availability, migration patterns, and even when they are new parents taking care of their new babies. Fish are diverse and cool, huh? <laughs> so, what did we explore today? Fish don't have eyelids, and the cartoons may have been lying to us. <laughs> but more importantly, they do rest in different ways, and lack of sleep affects them just as it affects us. So, clearly fish don't need a bed to sleep, but they do their own thing. I'll cut that one out from the list. All this talk about sleep. <laughs>